Hello, this is Noseman from the Max on Training Team. And in this week's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to hijack a parameter you are not using in order to randomize one that you are using. As you can see in this setup, these particles are scaling up and then scaling down through their lifetime. But the maximum radius that these particles are reaching are different for each particle. So let me show you how to do this. In this simple scene, I'm emitting 50 particles per second, and what I'm doing is setting their lifetime to 100 frames. So they are born, they live for 100 frames, and then they die. And then what I'm doing is, using a data mapper, I'm taking this age percentage from 0 to 100% of their age, that's their full lifetime, and I'm mapping their radius from 0 to 10 centimeters using this curve over here. That means that at the beginning of their lives, these particles are zero centimeters in radius, and at the mid of their lifetime, they are 10 centimeters radius. I want to randomize these 10 centimeters, so each and every one of these particles, although it starts from zero and ends at zero, their maximum radius is going to be a random number. And for this, I'm going to hijack one parameter. Let me stop and rewind. Go to the emitter, and in the properties, I'm going to go to the alignment, because I don't care about the alignment in this particular particle setup. I'm going to set the forward vector to random. So now what you will see is that when I generate these particles, if I show their handles, all these particles are going to have a random orientation. And then I'm going to go to my simulate, go to the modifiers, and bring up a math modifier. Put it underneath the data mapper, and what I'm going to do is multiply a value of 1 of a property of alignment, which is a random number, and the property that's going to be affected by this is the radius. And now if I rewind and press play, you will see that the maximum size of each and every one of our particles is random based on that random alignment. You can use this technique to randomize various parameters. You can use color, you can use anything that won't be used in your final render. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.